It's so deep. Information reaching us is that V might be pregnant for new. Yes, you heard that right. I'll be giving you guys the clip furthermore in this video to confirm it yourself so that you will not tame me as a gossiper or a tatafo or I'm the one bringing you guys fake information. You will hear it by yourself. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you see my face for the very first time, hi, my name is Vicky. Please consider to hit on the red subscribe button, subscribing to my channel, and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be informed whenever I post a new video. And please, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment below. Drop your comments, guys. This is an interactive video. Don't just come watch and run. how about now? Let's not let's not let's not behave like that. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into this video. Oh Guys, let me tell you guys, let me just start and see. I want to start this video from things that actually happened yesterday. You understand? Yesterday morning, Tolani Badge was speaking to New concerning her relationship with Prince. She was actually complaining about the way Prince has been acting towards her. In her words, Prince is actually acting like um he doesn't care about her, and in fact, then eh, Prince is further maths to her, and she is not even good in mathematics. And then I also don't understand him because he has like a guard up, which I've asked him about it. And he said, yeah, it's true, but it will take him time to bring you down. So that is also a process too. It's like I'm solving math, Sha. That's how I feel. Further maths. Further mathematics, and I don't know math, so you already know zero, zero, zero. And I'm like, ah! Tolani badge. It's like you even do not know that you have been dating yourself from the beginning. You don't even know that this whole thing has been your idea all along. Prince is obviously, even you and I that are the viewers, we know that Prince is, Prince is not even into that baby, you understand? But she's just forcing herself. But I just wish she opens her eyes because she said each time that she tries to move on, Prince comes back, you understand? Because sometimes she wants to opt out. But Prince comes to, you know, cajole her back into thinking that he's interested in the relationship and she's getting confused and Neil was like i'm going to talk to her and i said Neil, na um house husband so he talks to every husband that are having issues in their marriage so, and then moving on in the house yesterday was diary section and because our biggie has been on vacation our biggie that biggie that went to write wayek actually is not back yet so actually the housemate took turns to be biggie to themselves you understand and i will just be telling you guys two of the striking conversation that the so-called biggie and housemates actually had with each other and then the one i'll be talking about first is the um conversation the diary section between Erica and Prince. Erica being the Biggie and Prince is now talking to Biggie as in Erica. In the words, Biggie was asking Erica was asking Prince that which relationship will he actually um like scatter to move forward in the game apart from his own relationship and he was like he would like to scatter the relationship between Erica and um, Kid Wire. If you could break up a relationship in the house which you are not involved in in order to advance your game which relationship would you break up and why? I'll say Kid and Erica. It's not personal, but I just feel like they're... It's just an infatuation, especially on the part of Kid. To some extent, I admire Erica and I feel like she's going to get hurt at the end of the day and I wouldn't want to see that. And then Erica was like, she was surprised, but I don't know why she's surprised because that is obviously what has been going on. Even the blind can see, the deaf can hear, and it's just left for her. She has made a decision to actually be the way she is with kid, and there is nothing any of us can do. Let us get used to it. Okay. All right, guys. So the next conversation was Lucy's diary section, and then Lucy was talking to her biggie that the only person she would have loved to date in the house is Prince. I have been telling you guys that there is something about Lucy and Prince because. 
because these days Lucy spends her nights on Prezi's bed and even this afternoon they were still talking about who she likes she actually also confirmed even before the diary section that she actually likes Prezi and I'm like this lady all of a sudden you're not liking Prezi you remember that your best friend in the house Katrina had aggressive cuddling with Prezi anyway I'm sure she doesn't know about that because at this very point that is where their friendship will scatter because I cannot have a aggressive cuddling with one guy and you too you want to join and let both of us be aggressively cuddling one person I guess that is threesome they call it up a bit so that's just basically it these days we've been seeing Lucy's giving more interest to praise like she's very very much interested in praise these days and our eyes my tatafo eyes my amebo eyes my ears everything are in their business they cannot be in that relationship or in that thing they are actually trying to form without me I'm a bomb, madam. I'm the third person inside every relationship in that house. All right, moving on. We have Neo and V. Guys, I know that this is why you actually clicked on this video. I was just jejelly on my own, watching their show. Jejelly, hoping that nothing strange actually happens. Because, considering the fact that I actually talked about this thing in the morning, saying that we are not sure because V was telling the housemate that she's having congee. Apparently, V is actually trying to confuse us, the viewers, because she and Neo, they actually had a conversation in the kitchen. And Neo was like, You look pregnant. And then V was like, Pregnant. And actually her period is late now like she has told him and he was like hmm so what are you thinking and then he wish he was like ah that then uh, he should be scared now ah Neo was like scared for what after all he's the only thing he's going to do is that he's going to call his mother beside he's a reality TV star he's a, he was just bragging like the, the things that he is already mm -hmm. you should be scared, you idiot. Why, why would I be scared? I'm 26 years old I am Neo I am a reality TV star. I got you. What what you come next? You're very stupid. Yeah, right. Wait, 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 I, and you think really think I should be scared? Uh yeah. Why? Because the worst that will happen, I'm gonna call my mama. Hey mama. Okay, yeah. Hey, sir. <laughs> So apparently, these people have been having sexual intercourse without condom. Mm, yeah, not be my mouth when I hear them. I'm not going to hear them from their mouth direct because at this point, this is not amiable. Okay, it is amiable. Yeah, at this point, that is what has actually been going on. Let me just give you guys the clip so that you hear and listen attentively and judge for yourself. Do not come for me and say that I did not, as in, I did not tell you guys the right thing. You probably just miscalculated or No, I didn't. But by now, you last day when my period was ending, you've been here for a month, fucking hell. You've been here for more than a month. A month and a day. You've been here for a month and a day? Yeah, I came here on the 19th of July. Are you crazy? Is that how you're counting? That's exactly how you're counting. Okay. Okay, guys, from what you have read, did you hear what they are saying? We are about to have a BB Ninja baby because at this very point today is the day she's hoping it actually comes and we are praying with her she's my namesake i am praying with her that please v do not be pregnant in biggest house because it will not be nice but what what who am i who am i if that is her destiny at this point the worry boy go don't plant seed and <laughs> the yankee babe has got to carry the seed so that's just basically what has been happening and i'm wondering that okay so these people all the condom that Oga biggie actually provided for them they have refused to use it raw nine the sweet parts flesh to flesh is very interesting so that's what they actually did and now we are about to see the repercussion of it because neo was asking her how long have we been in the house have we been in the house up to a month when are you expecting it okay if they're having such such conversation what do you mean i'll be robert here anyway guys let's just leave that one for that and just since you have seen it yourself you will use your tongue and count your teeth and not say that vicky said you heard it with your ears so moving on guys i don't know what is even wrong with kid wire and erica those people want to eat themselves up those people want to make we that are at home have congee i'm just wondering how the housemates that are there with them deal with those two people kid wire and erica basically eat themselves up at every given opportunity kissing chewing gumming their mouth up and down Why 
understand. And at this point, so Erica is sick. Oh, things has been happening in that house. Erica is having malaria. We hope it is malaria. But Erica and kid, every second they see, they sit down, they kiss themselves, they eat their mouth, they caress, they fondle, they whatever and in fact kid wire will carry his leg and want to put his toes inside erica's toes so i don't even understand what those two are those two people are all about i don't know if i should say they are loving eh? is love in tokyo or whatever it is but moving on guys let us talk about watoni and bright too i don't understand what bright toes that lord bellish what his strategy is because i'm sure he's also shooting his shots where dorothy is and now he's with watoni but unfortunately we don't know if watoni will make it out on sunday this period they have been sharing bed together as i am talking to you what tony is on top of the bed of um lord bellish in person of bright too and they've been having a back and forth conversation do you like me you want a relationship with me since when did you start liking me what tony asking all this question and you know that what tony has been wanting to be booed up from the beginning of this show with somebody in the house and, and really much. i'm not i'm not Ladies and gentlemen, your number one I'm about on YouTube. My eyes are always on them because if anything fishy happens, I will always come here to update you guys and I will not let you guys slap. Like, we we'll always come here to just to talk about it, to gossip, and to have our fun and not get slapped about it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. These are just a few incidents I said. Let me come and discuss with you guys. Let me come and give you guys heads up so you don't slap behind. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and please subscribe. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't turning on your notification bell so that YouTube will inform you whenever I post a new video and I'll most definitely see you in my next video.